Memory loss and dementia represent an existential threat to the fabric of society that we live in. These diseases affect one in six people over the age of 65. So in reality, that's one in three families. Five years after the diagnosis is made, people usually enter nursing or residential care homes. High blood pressure is the single biggest modifiable risk factor for the development of memory loss. It causes vascular dementia, but it also accelerates Alzheimer's. We've known this for about 20 years now, but we haven't known why this occurs. This is the point of this research. We think that if we understand the mechanisms by which high blood pressure causes the reduction in blood flow across the brain, we should be able to reverse that and restore healthy blood flow. Following this research, what we've been working on recently is the ability to restore healthy blood flow by targeting this mechanism. And we're beginning to start seeing some progress in this area. It's very exciting. Dementia affects one in three families in the UK and there's no treatment. And these are our parents and we owe it to them to make their life better because of the society that they've given to us. Thank mm -hmm. you.